I just want to ask this because I want to put a bow on a conversation that Pryor had on this. And it's the reason why we started talking again that led to us being here right now is the fact that I had Nems on and yes. he's a big representative of New York right now and everything. And he, part of his story is that yeah. early on you took him in and had him on tour with him and everything. Yeah. Can we talk about this time period in your life? Sure. Yeah. So basically uh, in like 2004, I would probably say Psychological Records, which I call PLR, my company, right. my record label, was the hottest in the underground. Okay. I had released that year Mr. Hyde's album, Ill Bill solo album, Gore-Tex, uh, Sabak, uh, Circle of Tyrants, the Sexist album. Right. I dropped like 10 albums in 12 months. The underground went nuts. And I had marketing behind it. I was in Tower Records fucking light boxes. I was in your magazine XXL. I had a deal with Select the Hits. Select the Hits are the guys that originally signed. Uh, 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 it was the son of Sam Phillips who signed Elvis. Hmm. They're in t Memphis, Tennessee. They're a distro company. I right. did a fucking million dollar deal with them. They would put five hundred thousand up to match my five hundred thousand. Okay. So I would make every album, and blah blah blah. Okay, that's the, the year that I grossed a million dollars and whatever and all that. Right. After that didn't really go the way I wanted it to go in 2004, you know, came 2006, I did a lot of touring, 2007, I did a lot of touring. I said around 2008, I want to rebuild up my, my roster. I was still trying to, you know, be like a Wu-Tang or a Cash Money or, you know what I mean? Like we're Master P, figuring if I drop, you know, 10 albums, everyone makes money. The whole crew's loving it. I'm making money. It's right. fucking win-win. Like, I'm down to help people. And remember, I'm also a producer. Right. So I can make banging beats. So I'm like, you know what I mean? I'll produce people. So during like that time frame, I had one of the dopest message boards in underground hip hop. Wow. The okay. Necro Hip Hop Forum. It was called the Go Fuck Yourself Forum, and anyone can post on it. I can't believe I never ended up on there. There was only two people on yeah. the forum. Uh, I mean, two, no, no, two other. There was only two people in the underground that had forums. Right. This Jerkoff who did undergroundhiphop.com. Okay. And that was like very big to almost everybody. Yeah. And mine was more niche with anybody, you know, could have been Juggalos, Horrorcore, uh, any rappers or whatever. I missed the message boards. And it was on mine. It was Good the Necro days. Hip Hop message board. Yeah. And this was the main forum, the Go Fuck Yourself forum. Right. On this message board, I would feature gore, porn. It was, nobody was doing this. Mm -hmm. This goes back to 1999. I'm one of the first guys on the internet rappers that had a message board and I was using it to market myself mm. because I saw it could connect me with people. Yeah. And so it was awesome. A new song drops, you put it up, you get a hundred people commenting. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was like, it was before Facebook. It's like the most hardcore version of that too, though, because those are your real fans that yeah. the internet's so new that they're going to fuck with whatever the fuck you put out there. That's yeah. like your real fans. It was amazing. It's not like Facebook where you, you feel lucky to hit 5% of them, you know? I felt good connecting. I also felt good connecting, you know, with Facebook too. You know, yeah, social yeah. media, before they started censoring everything with this COVID shit, it was a good thing at right. one point, Facebook and all that. So I was trying to build a roster at that point. There was a dude on my message board named Nems Murderfest. Right. I'm assuming it was him. Yeah. He said he hadn't heard of my shit yet, but he heard of I Need Drugs. Everyone in Brooklyn knew me. Yeah. I Need Drugs was fucking popular. Not only that, I had give out 100 samplers to everybody in Brooklyn. Mm. I would drive to every hood and see every kid and give them and let them sell for me. I had kids selling my CDs. Mm. I Need Drugs CDs like drugs. So I would give you 20. You would pay me back 13 and you could keep eight. So I would make, let's say, six bucks, let's say, or five bucks a CD. Mm. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. They, You're like they, the distributor, yeah. And I had mad kids doing it. And I would, you know what I'm saying? So everybody knew who the fuck I was. So there's, there's no not knowing me. Okay. You knew who the fuck Necro was. Right. You know what I'm saying? It just, that's a fact. Okay. But anyway, long story short, on the message board, there was Nem's Murder Fest. That's how I saw his shit. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, it had to have been him. Who the fuck was it? Right. Nobody knew him at the time. So on the message board, posted up the video where he sampled that Verve sample. I saw it. You know, I was like, oh, this dude is Irish, uh, uh, Puerto Rican. Interesting. He's from the area. Let me message him. Right. I, I checked the temperature, pause, mm -hmm. like, you know, to see if he was cool. Like, what up? What are you doing? Because my whole thing was I wasn't trying to get played. So I'm like, what are you doing now? You got anything popping? Mm -hmm. Not really. Nothing. You're not down with any label? Nothing. You, you know, like, no, there's no interest. Maybe he told me he had fucked things up 
with Riggs Morales and all that stuff. I don't know if he got that deep. Right. And I don't know if it was off my space, which he said. Maybe, maybe not. But that's how I, I, I first got wind of him on my message board. Okay. Um, you know, and then we, we put him down. You know yeah. what I mean? And then he, a lot of what he said is true. I took him with me to Cali. Yeah. When I went to Cali, just so you understand the big shit I did at that time, I pressed up 100,000 samplers. On the sampler, it was Necro, Mr. Hyde, Nems, and, and other artists. And we went into the street. I'm told walking through Hollywood Boulevard everywhere. Anyone that looked hip hop hit him with a sampler. Mm. Okay? Um, then did shows. I have a show. If it's actually, it's on my Vimeo with Nems on stage with me mm. and Asa Akira getting fucking naked. Huge fan of mine. Wow. Fuck her though, because she don't show no love anymore. <laughs> but uh, at the time, she was on the deck. She never hits me up either. I'm trying to interview she's her. She shady. didn't DM me back, so I'm with you on yeah, that. Yeah, she's mad shady. Not fuck her, but but you, know. but you know what it is though. At the time, Jerry, Jerry Joey Silvera, the porn star, was a good friend of mine. Okay. And he let me shoot at his house. See, he would all the girls that were Necro fans at the time because of my track, Who's Your Daddy? Right. You ever heard Who's Your Daddy? I think so, yeah. yeah. Necro the Sex Assist, the Porn King, Show Me yes, the Breast yes, yes. on the Best There Is. Yeah. A foul shit, bounce with me, degrading, depraving, debauchery. Mm -hmm. You're naked on a couch with me. Bitch getting fucked in your ass through your fishnets, cutting queefs. You're bound to eat <laughs> shit next. That was one of the biggest things with, with You're porn fucked bitches. up, dude. When you put porn it like that. When you say it without a beat, it's like, damn. But okay, with the Nems thing, how long was it? good for and was the he said six months with the reality it hide wasn't nems down for like a year and a half at least definitely was no six months right he's but down was, for like a year and a half was the drug thing a huge problem from the beginning no he, well, he makes it sound like he was living the real life version of i need drugs he, he was there was times where he would be nodding out literally noon right in the day in the van as we're about to leave and i'd be like yo wake up you know what i'm saying but at the same time i'm not going to mention this dude's name I smacked one of the dudes on the tour for offering them drugs. Really? Yeah, I won't mention his name because I'm not trying to be a dick about it. But I mean, if you're sober, it's got to be tough to be around somebody who's getting that we're, fucked up. We're right? getting ready to go to the hotel. Yeah. I'm trying to help Nems get clean. I want to see it. He's on the label. Right. I put money up. Yeah. I put him on the cover with us on Hip Hop Connection, the biggest UK magazine. Right. Hip Hop Connection had me, Hyde, Nems, and the other guys. And this one dude offers Nems drugs at the hotel, and I hear it in the car. Right. I pull the car over. I slap this dude. For the 7-Eleven, I'm like, yo, B, you fucking crazy? Yeah. But I'm not going to mention the guy's name because I don't want to diss him. Right. So people won't know who it is. Okay. But he had to get slapped for that because you disrespect him, bro. The guy is fucking addicted, man. You don't offer him nothing, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you respect me because I put money up and we're out here. We're, we're here to do shit. I'm not out here for you to fucking do drugs with motherfuckers. I'm trying to blow up the record label, bro. Right. But... You know, pardon that guy because he was young. He didn't know better, you know, young and fucking dumb. But basically, um, me parting ways with Nems wasn't just because of the drug shit. There was points where Nems literally called me up three times a week to come get money for me. Really? Yeah, I was giving him money. Well, that's because of the drug shit probably. I'm but, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> There'd be times where, yeah. yo, Negro, can I slide by and get like two, 300, put it on the tab? I didn't want to do it, but right. you're part of the label. You know, I'll be like, bro, you're not using it for whatever. Nah, I need it for food or whatever. So I'm like, you know, you part of the label, whatever. Yeah. Um, long story short, what really, really, really happened was I had a fucking deal with Koch. Koch. Do you remember Koch? The good old days of yeah. everybody on Dipset was signed to Koch. Right around that out, time. It's like putting your product, project out through like Empire now. Okay, yeah. so I had a deal with Koch for Death Rap, and that dropped in 2007. Yeah. And I was still in contract with them, but without the manager. And I go down to Koch, and I want to do a new deal to amend my contract. And I sit with the executives, and I say, I'm going to release these guys, Nems being one of them, part of, you know, of, of my roster. Uh -huh. And I'm going to put up 50 Gs that's going to cover the albums and sample CDs and all the shit I just did, you know, that I've been doing, you know, or, or I think I had started to do it a little bit. And you match me with 50,000 in marketing and together, you know, and we'll, right. so it was like 100,000 for each of these guys I was going to make right. for them. This is like 2008. These guys didn't have a pot to piss in. Not one of these guys had money. Okay. And they didn't know how to hustle like me. They were just they were watching me and learning. Right. Kacha scumbags went back on everything they, they agreed with me. The executives will found this. Yeah. Total, totally no honor. How did I fuck up? Because I already had a deal with them. And so we, we were going to amend it. And I trusted them. And because you know how everything's slow in the business, 
I was hot to get shit popping and I had all these tours going. So I put all that money up when I told you uh, on the cover of the magazines, the fucking tours, uh, little videos, the promotions, the sampler CDs. I put all this money up. Koch didn't match what I put up. Fuck me. So I had to go back to these guys and be like, yo, I can't really do what I said I was going to do. Mm. Koch just fucked me up. You got a choice. You could stick with me if you want, but you might have to wait a year or two or whatever. Or, you know, go your, your own way. And, you know, I wanted most of them to pay me back and recoup what I put in. You know, I would say 50% of them paid me back. Really? I ain't going to get into who didn't because then, you know, yeah. it's just going to make me call that person a douchebag. Right. You know what I'm saying? But whatever the case was, some of them paid me back. Some of them, I, I took it as like, you know something? Like in Bronx Tale, you know when it's like you paid to just get someone out of your life? Yeah. It was like that. Like, okay, you know, I'd say go, go, go your way. I go my way. You could never say nothing bad about me because you know I genuinely helped you. Right. So Nems knows. I, so, okay, so number one, shout out to Nems. Right. Because I didn't do that. So no hard feelings or what? A little bit of hard feelings? It's 2022 right now. You know right. what I'm saying? Nah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, look at it like this. Um, you know, shout out to, to anyone that's successful that does their hustle. If you put in the grind, you're going to get it. Mm. You know, just like I got it. I had it years ago. I still have it right now. I'm living off my shit. I ain't worked for anybody in 20 years. I own everything you've seen on that Spotify, mm. every master. I get paid off of it all, it's okay? Impressive. And my numbers are bigger than all the people that I help. Because almost every rapper, at the very least, has a chapter in their career where they were getting fucked where or where the they red. don't own their, yeah. their projects, whatever. They're still in the red. Oh, it's it's of, so weird to know that you own all of it. Oh, most of these yeah. dudes are fucking, they'll never get their shit back from Cold Chillin yeah. or Tommy Boy. <laughs> All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.